Every time I asked you, yeah. Mbappe, why doesn't he sign the contract? You always said, well, it's there in front of him. He's going to sign it. He's not going, whatever. First of all, what do we read into this? Is he being clever and saying, I'm not going to sign the contract because I'm in no rush. I know that I can wait until the last possible day to do it. Or is he not signing the contract? Maybe even encouraging this bid from Real Madrid just to keep his options open. Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. And to start with, I've got nothing against Real Madrid at all. And their fans, their president, their owner, like nothing at all. I, it's, <laughs> it's a great club. He wants to play there one day. I've always said it. He will, whether it's this summer, whether it's next year, in five years' time, I don't know. He will. The contract has been there. He's even had more discussion not too long ago about salaries and etc. And the club was really hoping that he would at some point eventually maybe sign that deal. How I, long is this contract? Because I, I, I think this is an important point, right? I'm trying to put myself in Mbappe's head. So I want to play for, for Real Madrid. Yeah. Um, if I sign, if PSG come to me and it's like a five-year deal. Which was the first offer? I know that, hey, could PSG come to me with a two-year deal, a three-year deal, with some sort of prearranged release that is only valid for Real Madrid, something like that. Is that in the offing? Is that a possibility? That's the case now. But at the beginning, and if you're PSG, you go for it. You offer the five years, right. so you know that you're going to keep it for three of those five, maybe, or something like that. And you'll get a transfer fee. Yeah, and then you go. Clearly, that was obviously an issue uh, because it, because if you're Kylian Mbappe and you sign a five-year deal, and we've seen it with Harry Kane, who signed a six-year deal when he was 25, in a way, you're blocking your future if you want. Right. And and that's a, that's, that's a problem for them. Now the discussion could well go towards a very small extension where at least you know that he will leave, but not on a free. And in a way, you're still in control of the situation. Okay, so know. we're talking about potentially a, a one or two year extension with a release clause, maybe even a release clause tailor made for Real Madrid. I don't believe a release clause has been discussed. So even if it's a one year deal, aren't you just pushing this down the road? Yeah, but you, you still get something in, well, so you, you... You still have to negotiate it. Yeah, yeah. And next summer, if he wants to go, then he will have one year left okay. on his corner. But this time you say, okay, now we'll let you go. If, here's if, my if, issue if with this. Agreement. I see no reason why Kylian Mbappe should sign this contract. And he, he will not. I can tell you that he will not extend that. He's not going to extend. No. So it means he becomes a free agent. Yeah. So if he becomes a free agent on June 30th, 2022... From January 1st, 2022, yeah. which is, what, 120 days away, give Five or take? Months, yeah. He can go and he can sign a binding contract with Real Madrid yep. as a free agent. Yep. And that $160 million that Real Madrid bid yep. and which was turned down, mm -hmm. he can get a big chunk of that $160 exactly. million in addition to whatever he's going to earn. And Real Madrid, and he'll have the assurance that that money, because Florentino will spend money, We'll spend that money on bringing in better players around. And we've talked in the past of from Pogba to Kamavinga to, to Rudiger to all the guys who maybe even Holland at 70 yeah. million. So all these guys are free agents and obviously Holland a de facto th a free agent. So why on earth, if you're Florentino, would you bid 160 million euros now? Unless maybe you know that Paris Saint-Germain are going to turn it down and maybe you're laying down a marker yeah. for other clubs saying, yeah. we got this in the bag. I'm forcing Leo to come out, as he did. Yeah. And yeah, you can criticize us, whatever. You can criticize and say, he's not going anywhere Yeah. Uh, in this window. And at that point, I am so intertwined. I'm so, I'm so tightly bound that I almost have a guarantee that this isn't, he's not going to go somewhere else. Yeah. So I think you knew that already. If you're friends, you know, Madrid, you knew that it was very likely that he would choose Real Madrid in a year time when, when a free agent anyway. But now you flex your muscles. It's a demonstration of power, of course it is. I'm not even sure if they've got that money, but that's not the point because they knew it was going to be turned down. 160, there was nowhere PhD, who by the way, still have to pay 35 million euros to Monaco. They, they, they were never going to accept that. So you, you put that offer in, you show you know, how, how bossy you are and how dominant and powerful you are by putting that money on a player that only has 
a year left on his contract. You know he's going to be turned down, but you, like you said, it's a marker. It's also your strategy. This is Florentino and Real Madrid's strategy. It's always been the case with Luka Modric, with Gareth Bale, with other players. David Beckham. David Beckham. The thing is, they were not they were not so close to the end of their contract with their, right. with their club. So you had to even go further and stronger. With Kylian, you do that. PSG said no, he might well stay. He would be happy to stay in Paris for just one more year and then go on a free to Real Madrid. And if you're Real Madrid, you say, OK, we tried. They said no, we could not have gone higher than 160 because you're free in a year time. So it you're making a bid no that sense. you know is going to be turned down. Yeah. But it's OK because it brings you closer to your ultimate goal, which is getting Kylian Exactly. Mbappe. And now you know he's going to come. Plus, everybody's talking of that big offer from Real Madrid and... and You've won. I think PSG could yeah. still win if he stays, and We're, Kylian will win as well because he will go on a free with huge commission all over all around in a year. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.